talk about commission junction and and specifically it's about um, how can you grab um, an advertiser's uh, product catalog uh, the easy way instead of doing one at a time as you can see I have a website um, with a domain uh, windows7cases.com and as you can see under HTC I have a few cases um, they are nice and great um, we're gonna talk about how how you can pull this really easy and fast without doing a lot of work and as you know uh, casemate has uh, the best case cell phone cases um, on earth I believe and as you can see uh, Commission Junction gives you a link to get HTML for each uh, product. Uh, not all advertisers have a product catalog, but Casemate does. So we're gonna use uh, their product as a, their catalog for this video. And as you can see, you have to get HTML or JavaScript for each one, and then you copy it over to your website and you eventually do or create a table HTML table and you have to uh, also copy the the link for this button so on this video I'm uh, gonna show you how to do it really easy I just finished um, creating this site and this site uh, the domain or the URL is JC product dot CS sharp nerd dot com so if you go there uh, JC product dot C sharp nerd dot com you will end up at this page and over here what this uh, website does is it will ask you for your API key so once you go into your account at jc.com, you have to request an API key. Uh, you, in this case, I'm just to have a fake one. But uh, here you can make it up. So, but you need to have a valid one. If not, it won't work for you. Um, after that, all you need to do is type a, a keyword. Okay, in this case, I'm looking for anything with iPhone 3GS. Uh, none of these other fields are required just the first three and as you can see is you can leave it blank leave uh, this guys by default and you can change it depending how you want to sort it but uh, the last thing you do is how many products you want back I believe that default is 50 so if you leave it blank it will return you 50 and if not just enter the numbers you want uh, the max is 1000 so and then the last thing you do on this uh, application is just hit run when that happens uh, by default or well, so far it will return one table and in that table you have four columns you know plus the rows depending on this number so here I did four as you can see I got back one, two, three, four. That's it. Now, if you do eight, you will, you have two rows, and each row will have four you know, uh, columns. Uh, the last step, the easy part now is to you click view HTML. Once you click view HTML, all you have to do is highlight this whole section. So you can see and do copy and then you can go to your blog or your website and just paste it and it will show a nicely uh, HTML table like you see over here it's really easy so fill out your, your web ID um, advertisers because you might have you probably uh, have uh, different relation uh, 
with different advertisers. You might have uh, different websites that you're posting your uh, catalogs or links. So the next thing on this website is the get links. So on the next tab on this site, uh, all you need to do the same thing. Your key, you type your key, your website, ID, your advertiser that you want to grab links from, and then you can leave this uh, by default. It goes to product. Uh, keywords, I'm going to be looking for Blackberry. So, and then all you do is hit run. So I already did hit run previously. So here's the output. So as you can see, I have a column for the HTML code. So all you have to do is click this guy or highlight, copy it, and you're done. You can go to your site and link it up. Um, or if you want JavaScript, um, this is a description and the name in this case well we we're using a banner and it tells you the size 120 by 240 and, and depending on what kind of link type you want it will display and i believe you can sort it by and i think the link type i believe you can uh filter it by text or banner or other, other options but um, JC, this is based on um, uh, Commission Junction uh, web services. It's free for advertisers and publishers. Uh, it's based on this. Uh, this is the help file for the, what's right here. So as you can see, they provide the web service via the SOAP APIs or REST. APIs. Uh, this site or this uh, code is based from SOAP and here is the the links where you can grab the WSDL for your uh, project when you're doing this. So this website is pretty nice. It's really helpful if you want to grab stuff and now I'm going to show you how the code works shrink it a little bit so the first thing I did in my case was uh, create a, a class in my AMP code and what this class does the only thing it does it has a few properties and all the properties the same thing you saw uh, on the site that requires you to pull it so your developer ID, that's the API key, the website ID, advertiser key, and so on. So here's the the good part. Um, I have a table. This is a property for this class. I just call table. And here's where you do your search. Um, it has a timeout just in case. And here you're just checking that this guy is not a blank string and what I did is uh, I created this function or method called process data so what I do is here so you can see uh, the call here is to submit the developer key and all that uh, arguments once you submit that it will return as you can see a product uh, probably you don't see it but it's, it returns a product response and as you can see here I'm grabbing that return product, product respond and here I'm actually doing the work on this part and as you can see I have a table that a table is pretty basic and if you want to know where I got all this uh, column names it's from right here on the site from this site from product catalog search services and then here you go to uh, re response fields. Here you go. So it returns an array. So it returns a bunch of uh, products. And here you can see here the individual product. Here are the fields. So depending on what you need, 
you probably don't need to do all this but I just did it anyways and just to have it ahead of time so once you have it all you do is loop through each product from the respo response it returns a list of products so for each loop it's really nice because all you do is do rows that add and from this guy product here you just grab whatever you want in my case I'm just grabbing the whole thing but as you saw on the site well it's already done but anyways I didn't actually grab the whole thing I just grabbed a few things like the buy URL the image URL so you can display it and whatever else you want uh, so this is the class and here is the actual uh, code in the default page here I should add I should fix this on the page flow event but anyways so here I call my class and I pass everything from the text boxes very simple and then I call low product and it returns a data table so I dump everything into this data table uh, because later I'm gonna use this guy this data table and here I data bind uh, I'm using a data list to get the data and I'm not pulling the whole thing I'm just pulling a few things let me show you once I go here Here we go. So in this data list, in the item template, I have a table, and on inside this table, I have uh, I have a label, and this label, what it has is the name. That's the name of the a phone case from CaseMate, and I also pull in a, a I believe an image right here image URL so I can show the image and then the last thing I'm grabbing is the buy URL in this case the, the text is add to cart very easy and the last thing <clears throat> is this button now once you have that done you need this guy you want to see this whole thing in HTML in pure HTML so what I done is I'm using uh, uh, this um, control and this control is this one where is it it's right here right here this one um, this one will allow you to pass any static text but you must have the mode equals encode coded if not it won't work so once you click view HTML what is going to happen is you need to do a stream builder a string writer and a HTML text writer and as you can see I'm using all of them right here and then all you do is data list render control see says output server control content so I provided system uh, HTML text writer so what I'm doing is I'm writing the HTML uh, from this control into the text writer HTML text writer and I'm passing that into this uh, stream builder and the stream building is writing everything on the stream builder string writer is building or writing on or in the stream builder and the last step is to grab assign the stream builder to string and we assign it a text that's where we can get the HTML now the links uh, class is the same thing just properties these are all the arguments so I, I did the same thing just in this case we're gonna call link search service 
uh, version 2 and the same thing just searching passing the arguments processing the data building your table whatever you want to uh, grab looping for each link property the link has advertising ID link commission and a bunch of stuff and you do the same thing on the on the ASPX uh, page in this case I'm using a uh, where is it uh, right here in this case I'm using a grid view and make sure you set the auto generate columns to false unless you want to pull everything in this case I set it to false and I did it uh, I only pull in the ones that I think I might need like code HTML JavaScript destination name link type that's about it so hopefully this video will help you uh, build your website uh, build your website uh, to part with partners you have a commission junction in this case I have a website for windows 7 cases.com uh, you can check it out it has a lot of beautiful cases from windows 7 cases hopefully this video has helped you uh, get a good understanding on the web services uh, commission junction offers and if you have any questions just visit my site windows7cases.com or 240vs.com and if you have any questions send me an email leave me a comment or on YouTube leave me a comment too thank you for watching